Hey YouTube Gundam here, so welcome back to Space Engineers. I've been building a space station that's um, basically just going to be Anchor 9 from Halo Reach. But I added a rear bit and a side bit to dock my Nagafar. any rate, the competition victors were declared and the little one here, not the tiny one over there, no, that's that one destroy the of, uh, Villament or Vil... Viminal. That's it. The Viminal over there. No, no, no. This other cr ship here. This is a cruiser. This came in third place. Ah, my Nagofar wasn't even an honorable mention. I was wondering why. I thought maybe it was the amount of detail that I did not do on the exterior, but the Colossus, the winner, had less exterior detail than the Nagofar. Then I saw this was one, was the third place, and I brought it in. I'm like, this thing's going to be pretty big, right? It's got to be decent size. It's tiny in comparison to the Nagelfar. Especially in the engines, but the whole thing is actually very small, very slim. This is just chunky, chunky, chunky. You know, it's so chunky. But... <sighs> I thought everyone's cruise was going to be well over 100 blocks. This is 81 blocks. This thing is similar in length. It's a little bit shorter. But it's gorgeous. You know, the Avalon is a gorgeous ship. Uh, I noticed there are no Gatling guns in the middle. It's a ton of auto cannons, a few artillery cannons, but no Gatling guns in the middle for defense. Um, you know... This has, or a secondary gun, it's just auto cans. This has some bofers. And some Gatling is in the middle, though the top is a little vulnerable, but that's why there are these others. But this, <laughs> it doesn't look like crap. Though I do like the look of mine. Though I don't know how I managed to miss that by accident. I don't know what happened there. I'll have to fix that later. I'm going to keep that there so I know. I don't know what happened. Whoops. The thing is, this looks like he carefully and meticulously worked on every little bit of it. I mean, just look at this detail. Versus mine, it looks like I just slapped it together. Even though I spent over 50 hours on this ship, it does look like I kind of just slapped it together. The rear, I could have worked on a little more. I mean, these engine bits here is kind of... Eh... You know, but I really needed that maneuverability. I had some, but it had been. Hmm. I really wanted that extra maneuverability. Uh, these have a firing range. <laughs> I was just taking a look at the, um, what rooms this has. It doesn't have too many rooms as it is a little small. I mean, the, the main <laughs> engine bay on mine is enormous. My uh, immediate section just in front of the engine bay is nearly as big as his engine bay. My fighter hangar bay is huge. Uh, but mine is short. It is chunky, which is what I was going for. But this does look sleek. The Avalon is third place, and it does look sleek. And such details. You know, all these armor sets, like what he does here, here, and all over the place. And how he does the guns. You know, he did a great job. Um, The guns look like they clearly fit. Though they might have limited firing arcs, they clearly look like they would fit. Whereas only a couple of mine even remotely look like they might fit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the hanger. His hanger is rather nice because it is tall and kind of wide. Though one issue I did notice is that's the airlock. So this is a rather large room that can get depressurized, but at least it has a door here. Versus my airlocks are relatively small. Um, but 
I noticed something with a lot of the others' interiors. They're all rather basic in color, and you do get lost easily on the others' ships versus mine, which it's not basic in color, but because I have it color-coded, but, I mean, like, look at this here. I didn't do a thorough job like I could have with the color coding. So it does look a little incomplete almost, but this here... The color coding works for getting around, but then you look at it like... Mm. When you look at this, it's a riot of colors. The blue, the green, the yellow, the white, the red, the black. There's six colors in here. Compared to this. On the one hand, this is not pretty, but this does look kind of militant, kind of militaristic. And oh, the detailing that he does with the lights here is pretty good. You know, so that's something. Versus mine. <clears throat> uh, though he only does have the one hangar. And it has a small docking bay in this bay. So, like a dropship here and a few fighters here. Versus my fighter hangar and this rather large main hangar. Oh, uh, here's your riot of colors. Look at this. Look at this. It, it is a riot in here. But it's the point is so you easily know where you are with the, the green deck, the blue deck, and the white deck down here in the gym. But I mean, you take a look at my main engineering. It does look rather busy. As it has good reactors, a refinery, and jump drive there. An assembler hiding up here. More reactors than all this stuff. But it feels a little cramped, despite the size of the ship. Where's his main engineering? His, um, here it is. His main engineering feels more open. There's this massive area in the front and all this room on the sides. So there's really nothing here. It feels open. That's the thing. It feels open. Even though it's not really the open end, this is no usable block. Are, there might be a, are those nuclear reactors? I think they are. Those other ones. Not the other one kind, it's the other kind, you know? Uh, they have already done the event. <laughs> but this does feel open compared to this. And it's. Although there's a lot of open space here. It doesn't feel that way because the room's big, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Same with the other level. And the gr the yellow on the ceiling can be a little... Mm, it doesn't feel as open. Even though it's huge, it doesn't feel huge. What he did is less with more. Why did is more with less. Basically. Or just more with chunky. Hey, look at this thing. Chunky. Yeah. The fact that the main part of his ship basically ends there, even though he has this bit. It looks like it's an add-on instead of a critical feature of the ship. Whereas mine, it's clearly this huge chunky bit on the side. An enormous section to have all of that versus just having this and then calling that it. If I had trimmed up this top bit here and trimmed up the ooh, bottom bit down here, if I had slimmed those back in a bit, kind of like what he did, it would be nowhere near as big of a ship. I would lose a ton of engines, but I wouldn't... Well, okay, I would lose a little bit of my interior. I, I don't really need this, though. I would lose a bit of the main engineering, which is a bit much. Quite a few reactors. The main hangar would be just fine. So, so eh. That's the thing. I did add uh, quite a bit um, of extra weight, especially here. I mean, remember, I lifted this entire thing by a couple of blocks versus this. <sighs> it's the detailing. Mine, there's, I mean, it's a basic slab here and a basic slab here and a basic slab there. And this is just a basic block. This, I thought I had that as not a basic block, but I guess I forgot. I don't know. 
the fact that you know, mine does have these sharp edges and no detailing all over the place. And just literal, I could have done it and I probably should have done something here and here, but I did not. Despite working on it for 55 hours. I mean, this is the first time I ever made something with such extreme detailing. Definitely. Nothing else of mine even comes close to the amount of work I put in this for detailing. So I am glad and happy that I made such a great ship. And I see I have room to improve. I definitely have room to improve. But I'm glad I did good. You know, I may not have even been an honorable mention in the contest, but I did good. Compared to what I normally do, I did good. So, I remember, I was trying to restrict myself in the length and in the CPU, the block count, and the weight. If I had ignored CPU, block count, and weight, and just kept it as length, and more importantly, thought of the size. Because I have the like, his hanger just immediately goes up, but it's actually kind of wide up here. It's kind of wide there, but mine has this massive overhang. His does not have an overhang, but he does add this detailing. Oh, oh and this right here. And this is crazy. Look at this. And that. <laughs> I have work to go to make a uh, good, but I, I did good For, compared to what I normally did. I did good. So I'm proud of myself. <coughs> it's sad that I didn't get there, but I mean, the Avalon isn't even the victor, but the victor, the Colossus, I think it was, is in a way more basic than mine as far as detailing goes but it's similar in size to the Avalon now, it's a little bit bigger but it's not chunky you know this looks sleek with an acceptable engine bay it looks sleek and especially here you can't really see much except for the front look at this it's gargantuan in the back it's gargantuan in the back it's huge. That's the thing. That is sleek. This is has a lot of junk in the trunk. Speaking of, look at this engine assembly. Now look at this. Yeah, that's the firing range. It's, it's like this. These tucked in engines are good. And there's this basic cluster here. And that's pretty simple compared to, say, this. This looks great. <sighs> he clearly knows what he's doing. I learn. I have a ways to go, but I will learn. <sighs> next time. Hopefully a destroyer. I want a destroyer next. Ciao.